Well guys, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, I was walking back here to check uh, a few of my minnow traps and uh, just spotted a little box turtle half burrowed in the leaves. Looks like it's getting ready to call it a night. It's starting to get late. Maybe we'll find something else. Hey, what's up guys? Um, I'm out here in this uh, irrigation canal for a farm next right next to me and uh, I was checking some minnow traps and I came across a very uh, different animal um, not very photogenic but it's just one of those animals that nobody really knows about and it just interests me and how they can be so common yet nobody knows very much about them and uh, what I have is uh, you can't see it very well in here I hope I'll see if I can get it out for better close-ups but uh, this is the lesser siren or siren intermedia it is a uh, it's a very cryptic species of salamander aquatic salamander and it's found from um, it's found in eastern North America from Virginia south of Florida uh, west of Texas and I think they're found in areas of Veracruz Mexico and up north into Illinois Indiana and Michigan but uh, in North Carolina, they're typically found from the Piedmont to the coastal plains in like a narrow strip that runs north to south from, um, as I said, the Piedmont to the coastal plains. And uh, they're found in uh, creeks typically and irrigation, irrigation canals like this. And uh, the creeks usually flow into swamps and, uh, or blackwater rivers. And uh, they're also found in those two types of habitats as well. Um, they're usually found in uh, calmer areas of rivers or creeks where uh, leaf debris and other sediments build up and uh, they like to hide within those uh, patches of calm water and uh, it's usually uh, void of um, uh, voided of like predators like large fish usually smaller fish usually take a uh, stronghold in those areas and uh, I I wouldn't be surprised if mud snakes feed on these guys since they're very similar in appearance and um, uh, behavior as amphiumas. Um, although they're, uh, they just they differ by having ex the external gills and the large front limbs and as well as the lack of rear limbs. Um, and also they're usually a lot smaller. Uh, lesser sirens as their name as their scientific name suggests intermedia is actually intermediate in size between the uh, lesser, I mean the greater and the dwarf siren. And uh, greater sirens can get up to three feet long, which is very large. This is about typical adult size, a little bit less than a foot. They can get about over a foot along in length, I think. Um, but yeah, it's uh, the season's starting to wind down and uh, these are really the only types of creatures you can find this year, this time of year, and uh, that's amphibians usually. Um, snakes usually are starting to find their hibernation areas. I mean, it's relatively warm today. It's like 69 degrees out right now, maybe 70 something. Um, but yeah, the days are starting to get shorter. Leaves are falling from the trees and uh, changing colors. Um, they really are fond of uh, slow moving rivers like the one, or canals. It's not really moving, but I mean, they're usually fond of the slow moving creeks and stuff. Um, and they like to find, um, they like to feed on uh, worms, insect larvae, and crustaceans, as well as um, frog eggs and frog larvae, I believe. And they've also been known to eat their own eggs, which is quite interesting. Um, they can lay up to 12 to 300 eggs, I believe, um, and they're usually laid in early spring in uh, little shallow depressions in the mud. Um, and the females will usually sit there and guard them, almost like an amphiuma. But uh, females will actually uh, lay clutches of eggs throughout the, s the spring season. And uh, hatchlings are about uh, a centimeter long, which is very small compared to uh, these guys. Um, but yeah, um, not very, uh, there's not very many identifying features on these guys other than the, uh, the darker coloration and uh, the gills, as I said. But uh, they can also be a little bit lighter in color and more speckled almost like uh, like a rocky granite appearance. I believe those are found up north though, like in Illinois and stuff. Um, this is a typical colored one, black and whatnot. 
But yeah, the gills are the main difference between eels and uh, amphiumas. Uh, eels do not have those. As well as the large front legs, which are actually aid in locomotion, uh, unlike the amphiuma, which usually their legs are useless. But uh, just like the amphiuma, they're very, um, they're very slimy and slippery. Um, I can demonstrate for you. Um, try not to touch them too much, because as salam all salamanders are very uh, prone to the oils, or very, uh, I'm not sure how to put it in words, but they can, they're affected by human skin oils like other amphibians, and I'm not sure what it'll do to them, but I don't want to find out. But uh, yeah, they usually like high acidity soils, I mean um, water, like uh, swamp water where the tannins from leaves leach into the water and make it all dark and brown. Um, sh mosquitoes are pretty rough this time of year. Don't know why. Maybe because the water levels are starting to rise. Um, but yeah, um, they're usually found in areas with thick aquatic vegetation and uh, that's where they're usually prone to lay eggs because it's a lot more protected from wading birds and large fish and whatnot. Um, so yeah, they're uh, usually uh, very safe from predators but then again, if they happen to wander into shallow, clear areas, they're usually uh, picked off, like, usually very quickly. Very good uh, food source for um, um, wading birds. Um, I just find it interesting how many uh, different creatures can be found underwater and that nobody even really knows about, you know? It's really cool. I guess uh, my time with this uh, lesser siren has come to an end. So, yeah. Alright guys, I'm uh, getting ready to let the siren go. Don't want to keep it out of the water too long. I'm not sure how uh, prone they are to uh, the asphyx asphyxiation from not having any water. But, uh, let it go in the water here. And as you see, it doesn't even appear that it's moving. Yeah, it's disappearing before my eyes. And just knowing that these creatures thrive out here is what keeps me coming out here.